Moving on to block two, which is our old maid's puzzle. So that's block two there, old maid's puzzle. So what we have to do is uh, we've got, as per instructions, there's A1s, which is four and, a, four and one eighth inch squares. B's is a three and a half inch squares. A's is four and one eighth inch squares. And C's, which is a eighth and seven eighth, uh, sorry, five and seven eighth square. So to start with, the very first thing we need to do is create our half square triangles. These are our half square triangles. There, 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 there. So there's quite a few. And we, so we have to get an A1. And what I've done is I've actually numbered these. It just makes it a little bit easier. Just get a little sticker or some, some of that white tape and sticky tape and put it on there and, and number it. Just makes it easier and, and as you're going along because you do get a bit confused with the actual pieces. So we've got to make the half square triangles. And as per our back to basics, we will be putting using, I, I like these position tools, we will be putting um, a line either side of our position tool and putting them together. So the A and A1 are together, putting them together with that. Right side together. Pin them. Just to get it right and you don't have to um, worry about the, it sliding. If you pin it, it's a better way to go. So along the white lines. Take your pins out. Cut down that centre between the corners. Check your little gauge to see that your one eight, uh, quarter inch is, is good and that, that's really good. Cut down the middle. Take them to your ironing board. Always iron to the dark side. Iron that, and then you need to trim those back to three and a half inch. Three and a half inch blocks. So I'll quickly trim that back. Oh, this one's a good one, so I don't have to worry about doing too much trimming. So just continue on with those. So you need to make three lots of two. So six half square triangles, as you can see. One, two, three, four, five, six half square triangles. So continue on with that. Okay, so we now have six of these unit ones. We'll call these unit ones. So what you have to do is you have to put unit ones together with unit two. So as per the instructions on the actual uh, pattern, just check out how they're actually sitting, which is that one there. So you want to get it the same way because we want to sew it the same way. So it's like that. And then I need to add that line together, that line together and that line together there. So I'll quickly do that. I'm not going to use pins, I should, but I've uh, got a fair bit of experience. so. I can do it, but wise for you to actually use pins. First one. Take them to the ironing board. Now, what I would do on the back of that, you can see this is more, it's easily will be going, it will be going easily to this side rather than that side because it's got to go against an actual seam. So I will, on both of these, iron that seam to that side, turn it over and iron it. Same with this one. Iron it to the plain purple. Iron it to the 
put it back into the right, yes, that's right. And then you want to um, put number one to number two, you want to add that to there. So now you definitely have to pin and you want to get that nice corner. So feel it with your fingers. You can feel where the two seams actually join. About a half inch down, put your pin in there through the seam and just check, perfect, on the back. So I'm going to pin that one two. And then we're going to sew to the first pin, pull out the pin. With your quarter inch seam. Yep. Take your pin out. Then I'll iron that back seam again. All about the ironing. In iron on the front, and that will give you unit three. So now we've got two finished unit threes, and we'll move on to the next unit. So you need two of these A1s again, which is the four and one eighth, and you need to cut those from corner to corner. So we'll cut those corner to corner, you end up with four triangles. And then you get this, the, the remaining two unit ones left over, because you made six of those and there's four of them in here, so you've got two left. You put them like this and you just line it up. So the, the two triangles you line along the two uh, lighter fabric corners, uh, sides, sorry, not corners. So you line them up like that and that's what it's going to look like. But you, you, you have to, when you pin it, make sure that the bottom of the corner of the triangle is at the bottom of the corner of your um, half square triangle. Just pin it because you're on a bias there. So that across the quarter inch foot. Iron it out, so you fold that out and iron it, and then the next corner goes in there. So you, from the, once again, the bottom of the corner to the corner of the half square triangle, uh, bottom of the triangle I should say, to the half square triangle. Line it up, and you can see that the two ends lap over. So you, you sew through that whole lot. Once again, iron it out and you get that nice triangle finish here, which is this one here. So that's that part of it. Then cut your C from corner to corner. and you add that C across that particular unit, centre it over the edge. So you'll find it a little bit, that, that, you, that unit will be a little bit bigger than the C, cut in half into a triangle. Centre it and then pin it. Pin it well because it is once again going over a bias and bias can get out of shape very quickly if you stretch them. And then sew that slowly, slowly over that centre 
centre uh, Iron it to the the C block triangle. And there you go, that's unit four. Now I've ended up with two unit fours. These need to be trimmed back to six and a half so that they fit together really well. And it it, it all is about fitting everything together well. Um, if you haven't ironed it correctly, if you haven't trimmed it back to the right size block, they won't fit. So you'll find that you'll have bits hanging over on the seams. If you've got it back to a six and a half inch square, this is a six and a half inch square, they'll fit together really well. Um, so you just, as we did before, lay it over the, lay your uh, 45 degree angle over the, the sewn seam. This one's pretty good. There's only a couple of bits to be taken off. mainly just those little dogs, dog ears I should say. Come back to the corner, looks all pretty good. It's a little bit off that one. So then these have got to be put together with that. So after trimming this unit four back to a six and a half inch, we now have to put them all together as per the instructions, your actual uh, instructions. So if you look at the photo on the pattern and just put it, put the blocks in the same position and you're not going to make a mistake then. So that's the blocks there like that. So that's line one and line two. So I have to add those two together and then add them together. So I'll Take these over. Now they'll they will uh, line up because they're both six and a half inch uh, blocks. Line one and then line two put together. I'm not going to pin because I've got a bit of experience, but good idea to pin if you're just starting out. All right, so now what we've got to do is we've got to get those two lines together. So just remember the rule that one put one back one uh, back seam to one way and the other back seam to the other way. So let's think, okay, we will iron those to that blue and purple fabric. So they interlock, the seams interlock in the back. So those two lines have to go together. Line up that middle seam, really important. That's the seam that will show if you've made a mistake. So line up the seams with putting your needle, the, your pin through the back seams, through the seams and make sure it goes to the back and it lines up. It's gonna be perfect. Bring it over to here.
Take it to the ironing board. Iron the back seam first. So the back of your work, try and make it look, at as, look as tidy as you can. It's not always possible, but it's always nice to have it tidy on the back. And as you can see, the points in the middle there have, have matched beautifully. So that's that, seam, that, that block there. So now we're going to quilt it um, and we'll go over the, that process again. So you get your 14 inch backing with your 14 inch Hobbs fusible wadding. Put that over the top of that. Get it nice and flat and then you put your block on top. Just centre it over the middle and iron it. So the fusible, iron, fusible wadding will stick to the back of this and to the actual, um, the backing. So it make, makes it into the sandwich that we need. Give it a really good iron. You want that to stick. Turn it over. Make sure you've got no wrinkles in the back. So I'm going to draw some lines on this for quilting, just to give you an idea. So what you could do is, with your ruler, use your half inch and just, uh, what I did with this ones, as you can see, I just did triangles in the triangles and squares in the squares. So it's quite basic quilting. And uh, when I did that one, I didn't actually draw the lines, but you might like to draw the lines just so that you've got a bit of a guide. So I just, I'm just laying the quarter inch on the actual seam. So it makes it really basic, but easy to follow. Same with these ones, quarter inch. And if you're going off the side, you've got to add an extra quarter inch to it. So you're going to go three quarters of an inch. These are only going to be small triangles. The square, the same half inch. So just, just go and fill in all your squares and your triangles. Doesn't matter if you go over and make a mistake with the pencil because it just comes off, it's fine. It's, it's that chalk pencil. So just go through and do all that and we'll come back. So we have all, have got it all drawn up now, as you can see with all the lines, and we're gonna take it to the machine with the monopoly uh, thread in it, which is the clear thread once again, and we're going to sew all of these lines. It'll take us a little while, but we'll do a couple and then we'll come back at the end. So just do a, if you're starting in the middle here and you're having to pick up and go back, do a couple of back stitches just so that um, it sort of secures it. Okay, so we're at the end. Double stitch back. Okay, so now we've got all that done. What you really need to do, because you've stopped and started, there's all little tiny threads. So just snip those off. Just be careful not to snip your quilt at the same time um, because you don't want little squiggly bits sticking at the top of your quilt. You probably will miss some and as you go along later on you'll come across them. I'm just, take what I can see off it. And then onto the ironing board, give it a very good iron. And there's your finished All Maids Puzzle.